It's 600 years. The Forbidden City has withstood over 200 devastating quakes, including the deadliest earthquake of the 20th century. So how has the Forbidden City survived so many quakes? To find the answer, specialist carpenters are building a unique scale model to replicate the classic Forbidden City structure. To be as accurate as possible, it is being made using traditional carpentry tools and techniques. The scale is one to five, a fifth of the original size. Engineers have built it on a shake table to simulate earthquake forces, calibrated to the size and weight of the scale model. These beams and columns are the structural core of all the Forbidden City's buildings. If you look up here, in between the cross beams and the roof, underneath that mesh, there's these flower-shaped brackets, and they're called Dogon. The complicated Dogon brackets extend to the exterior to support the eaves, as well as the roof. They sit on the large beams supported by the tall columns. But the columns are not founded in the earth and are freestanding. All these structural parts bear the roof's immense weight. Now, in a series of unique tests, the Forbidden City seismologist Dr. Joe will subject the scale model to a series of simulated quakes to discover how the Forbidden City's intricate parts react and see what magnitude of quake they can survive. So, a 9.0, this is like a very, very big earthquake. The test now moves beyond magnitude 9.5, the largest recorded quake in history. The equivalent energy to well over 2 billion tons of TNT. What was most surprising to me was how much the building could move, how flexible it was. Nothing was damaged and it could survive a 10.1 earthquake. This is a, a fabulous proof of the genius of uh, Chinese traditional architecture.